The breeze that blows in a port city makes everything feel so different. It smells like the sea. Stand in the ocean wind too long and you'll get covered in salt, you know. Thank you for ruining my mood. Hey, feel free to get all sticky and gross. I won't stop you. Yes, have we met somewhere? Convenient time for amnesia. I know somebody who can fix that for you. Amnesia? I'm terribly sorry, but this is the first time we've met. Are you crazy? Magistrate, your crimes are undeniable. These people have seen everything. As I've just been explaining, someone had assumed my identity and was trying to ruin my reputation. It was most upsetting. Liar! I saw those people you fed to the monsters with my own two eyes! Well, Sir Flynn, who are you to believe? These young ruffians or me, a member of the Council? Flynn. It's settled then. I bid you all good day. Who does that guy think he is? And who the hell is he? Settle down. This is... This is His Royal Highness Yoder, candidate for the Imperial Throne. Huh? <laughs> yeah, right, Estelle. Good one. <laughs> what? I'm only one of the candidates. It's true. With the passing of the previous emperor, Master Yoder is a rightful heir to the throne. R really Yes. An alleged imperial heir captured by a so-called magistrate. That's interesting. I see. Then this incident means that I... A little too juicy for public consumption, huh? I... I just... It's got something to do with your decision to leave the castle, doesn't it? <sighs> do whatever you want. I've got no interest in an empire that just sits and does nothing while its people suffer in plain sight. Yuri. And what have you changed by turning your back on such an empire? We need just laws laid down by the government to ensure that people can live lives of stability and peace. Those same laws just let Rago walk out that door. Which is why you and I became knights, Yuri, to change things like that. If we couldn't make it happen by yelling about it from below, then we said we'd gain honor and trust, and fix the Empire from within. Remember? So, in order to get ahead in life, I'm supposed to stand by while somebody feeds little kids to monsters? Is that it? You want me to look the other way when our people in the lower quarter are being bled dry by taxes? 
It's because I can't do those things that I quit being a knight. I know, but has anything changed because you quit? Ugh. How is anything different than it was before you joined the knights? Wait, I'm coming too! I've done it again. I only want for him to move on with his life, to quit sitting around. Flynn, I... My apologies for such an embarrassing scene. What do you intend to do next? Would it be all right if I go with him? Why? I feel like so much has changed during my travels with Yuri. The Empire, the world. I've changed as well. Lady Estelise. Understood. You there, young man. Who? M me? Tell Yuri to take good care of this young lady. Okay. Is it really all right? I would rather do the job myself, but I'm afraid my current duties won't allow it. And as long as you're with him, I can be certain you'll be safe. You believe in him, don't you? I do. If you guys are finished, can we get going? We'll lose him if we don't hurry. Damn, he knows how to get to me. I know better than anyone that nothing's changed. I guess I should look for clues about the Blastiacor. The way he looks, Barbo should stick out like a sore thumb walking around in town. But it'd sure help if anyone saw where he and his gang were headed. Come to think of it, I wonder what happened to Raven back in Rago's palace. I guess he panicked and ran when the Dragon Rider and the Knights showed up. Hey, it's him. Huh? <laughs> hey there! Long time no see! Isn't there something else you should be saying? Something else? Hmm. Can't think of anything. Well, they say the deceived have better memories than the deceivers, don't they? I'm just terribly misunderstood. Honest. You need to see a doctor for your tendency to unconsciously cause trouble to others. You might see if you can get that foul mouth of yours checked out, too. You gotta come back for everything, huh? If you don't stop putzing around, the knights are gonna throw you back in jail. Ha! The knights are a bit too busy to bother with me. I saw a rough-looking guild group moving to the northwest not too long ago. The knights can't just turn a blind eye to them, can they? Rough-looking, you say? Was it the Blood Alliance? Beats me. By the way, what was your business back there? Nothing special. I was looking for an apatheia. What is an apatheia? Supposed to be like a really strong core. Heard that it was there, but I guess I had the wrong information. I see. An apatheia. you old man hmm maybe I'd best be off now yep the Amazonas has emerged wait damn it I'm gonna be too senseless <sighs> why'd you let him get away 
He said he's terribly misunderstood. What? What does that mean? Oh, he got away! I'll catch that bugger one of these days. You should leave him be. Going up against that kind of guy is just a waste of energy. You all right? Just let me take a, a little break. Sure, you can have a little one. Then we've got to go. Go? Go where? We need to follow the Blood Alliance to get back the lower quarters blast you. Did you get a lead on where to go next? I heard that a shady group from a guild was headed to the northwest. It might be them. To the northwest of here. The only city I can think of in that direction would be one that was destroyed in an earthquake. What could they want to do in a place like that? Hmm, good question. And yet, you still want to go? I'm just saying we should go and check it out. Torum feels a lot more like a port city than Nor did, don't you think? Yes, it's lively, and the port is full of ships. That's because Torum is run by Fortune's Market. They control shipping all over the world. I'm pretty sure Fortune's Market has their headquarters in Torum. I guess business can keep a city running if people wanted to. I never would have thought of that. Carol, do you know anything else about that city you said was destroyed in an earthquake? Just rumors. Supposedly it was some guild's headquarters about 10 years ago. 
Which guild was that? Sorry, I can't help you there. I've never heard of an earthquake that destroyed an entire city. Well, Ospio is across the ocean. Maybe the information just never made it that far? Hmm, I wonder. Guess we can do this. You want revenge? Bring it! I just keep getting stronger! Just getting warmed up. I feel like an easy win. Let me at him! Yeah, I beat you into next week. Next week? But can you really? Never mind. I'm gonna make you work. Destruct your passion! Oh, 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 o
Like this? Yay! What, what was that? That's nice, but I can do so much more. I feel this power inside me! Could you be any weaker? Don't get cocky. This place is a total wreck. Do you seriously think anybody would come to a place like this? I wonder if we've been fed some false information again. Again? That's far enough! This area is under the jurisdiction of the Hunting Blades! That voice! These measures have been taken to prevent the injury of innocent bystanders. Man! All right! I finally found you! <laughs> Are the Chief and Tyson with you? Have you guys been getting along okay without me? Don't take that buddy-buddy tone with me! Aw, don't be like that. I only got a little lost. A little lost? That's a good one. You know you just ran away. I didn't run away, I swear! Still making excuses, huh? It's not an excuse. I beat an egg bear just like I said I would. More lies. I mean it! Is this how you repay being taken in by the hunting blades? Remind me who it was that said, I swear I won't run away this time. You always run and hide at the first sign of trouble. You've been kicked out of every guild in the book. Shut up! You shut your mouth! Huh! Even we've already fired you. Wait! You have been warned by the Hunting Blades. Leave this area at once! If you fail to heed this warning, you do so at the risk of your own lives. Nan! <sighs> this still doesn't explain what the Hunting Blades are doing here. Good point. Rita, wait! Are you forgetting about the warning? She never said we weren't allowed to enter. But what about the risking our lives part? 
Are you implying that I should listen to that brat? Don't make me laugh. At any rate, the Blood Alliance doesn't seem to be here. Let's have a look around. Man, why did it have to end up like this? They said... they said I was... fired! Carol, keep your spirits up. I can't be happy anymore. It's like her words are a dagger in my heart. She was just worried it'd be too dangerous for you. There's still hope. Huh? Y you think so? Ugh, whatever. I don't care about what she thinks. The problem is your guild, right? I get it. Right. Yeah. I don't care about Nan. This hurts to watch. I'm rooting for you, Carol! What sort of Blastia is this? Hey, get your grubby mitts off it! Of course, it's slightly different from the norm, but it looks like a type of warp Blastia. Its activating mechanism is... let's see... Huh? What's the matter? There's no activation switch! It's properly equipped with a core, and it doesn't look like it's the type where you can activate it by removing the core. So maybe there's an activation switch located somewhere else? Perhaps, if there were another Blastia like this one in this town. It wouldn't be too unusual for there to be some device to manage all of them at once. Oh, so we can't activate it then. Too bad. Huh? Why is it too bad? I just had a hunch it would lead to something interesting. Blastia isn't a toy, you know. Couldn't we just look for the device that's managing it? Yes. Sure, maybe we can find it. This looks easy. Don't get careless. Was this town really destroyed by an earthquake? The buildings all look kind of strange. Yeah, they don't look like they collapsed from the ground shaking. Something's weird. Yeah, so how were they destroyed then? Got me. Maybe we can find out by asking someone who used to live in the town. That's not really why we're here though, so why should we care? You actually have a point there. I told you, there's no switch. We can't use this. Look, it's not like I'm crying or anything.
What do the hunting blades mainly do as a guild? Like their name says, they make their living hunting monsters. It's not like there's any shortage of monsters once you're outside the barriers. Business must be booming. Yeah, they definitely get a lot of commissions. But the hunting blades aren't killing monsters just because someone asked them to. Monsters are evil. This evil must be punished. That's the creed of the hunting blades. I wonder if any of them are doing it just for their own personal grudges against monsters. Oh yeah, a lot of people. Like Nan's parents were killed right before her eyes when she was a kid. Huh, and it'd be hard not to hold a grudge after something like that. Get this over with. Take this! Should we head back, or...? Hold on. I'm gonna have a look around. Weird. There's not a keyhole or anything. Really? Yuri, an amateur like you would never be able to open a door like... I wouldn't want Captain Carroll to dirty his hands on such a filthy door. Oh, <laughs> right. <laughs> <sighs> well, shall we? Wouldn't it be crazy if a monster just gobbled up your foot right now? Just a giant munch and, oops, no more foot. Looks fine to me. Let's go inside. What am I? Your test dummy? What's this do? 
Get your grubby mitts off it. I don't want to have to tell you again. It seems like it might be an activation switch for the warp blastia upstairs. Nothing's happening. It doesn't have enough air. Not enough air. I wonder if that ring I got in the Shikos ruins might be able to do anything. Ah, the sorcerer's ring. I'm not sure. But you might as well give it a try. It worked! Maybe that means we'll be able to use the Warp Blasty upstairs. Let's go. device after all. This is just like in the Shikos ruins. If you don't fill up the core with air, it won't work. Ah, so I should use the sorcerer's ring. Right. personal. It'll be a hundred years before you can beat me. Because you've lived a lot longer, right? Not exactly. Nothing 
personal. I got a little worked up. Thank you. 
Guess we can do this. Take this! So it looks like the Blood Alliance isn't here after all. Those guys are the hunting blades. Th that man. We saw him in Dadon Hold. Ah, now that you mention it, we did see him. So he's the leader of your guild then. He's gonna fight that monster all by himself? Took it out in one hit? That was a fatal strike! A fatal strike? It's a crazy powerful technique that extremely skilled swordsmen can use. Huh, so how do you do it? How do you do it? How should I know? Fatal strike. A strong attack which throws your opponent off balance followed by a single, well-timed strike to finish the enemy. Is that something else you read in a book? Y yes it is. I see. It sounds like it's easier said than done. You really want to get back into your guild, don't you? Well, what makes you say that? Oh. Carol, are you going to go back to that guild? I won't go back. I'm sick and tired of monster hunting. Won't go back or can't go back? It sounded like you were fired. No way! I'd been planning on leaving for a while. Huh, is that so? Well, no matter then. So, uh, let's get going. Well, I'm glad you're staying with us, Carol. Anyway, what do you think they're doing with such a large contingent? Yeah, if they wanted to take out that monster we saw, one person would have been enough. This is actually the first time I've ever seen this many guild members gathered in one place. Really? Yeah, a lot of the members are loners. They tend not to travel in groups. And the chief being here is out of the ordinary too. Curiouser and curiouser. You wanna... follow them and see what they're up to? Nah, uh, that sounds interesting, but I'm gonna keep going. He's looking for members of the Blood Alliance after all. Right, Yuri? Yeah, I don't want to worry about two guilds. One is more than enough. I think I'll try to do that thing. 
That thing? That fatal strike thing. You can't just imitate what you saw and hope it'll work. Hey, I won't know if I can until I try. How did it go again? Uh, uh, first, you go and attack the enemy to throw it off balance. Alrighty. Alrighty? Ah! Huh? See what? I see my opening to attack. No finish! Yuri, that was amazing! Nah, uh, I was just copying what I saw. I didn't think it was the sort of thing you can just copy like that. Well, you need a little skill, but it's not really that hard. You think you could do it while watching me? No way! It takes a skilled swordsman to do something like that! I know that. But Carol, you're not as bad as you make yourself out to be. I'm... I'm not? You too, Estelle. R really? Alright, let's go. That was fun. Yuri, you're awesome! Oh, 
Take this! All right, who's next? Pretty good for a dog. Hey, I learned something. That's nice, but I can do so much more. These are the threads that weave our future. Wow, 
These buildings are from the late Elechasm civilization. It must be a very old town. You seem to know a lot about these things. As always. It's such a shame they just let this city fall apart like this. Do you really think we're in any position to be sightseeing around this moldy old city? We do have things we need to be doing. Then shouldn't we be focusing on them instead of this little tour? Oh, wow! That round roof is using the Leon method first developed by Emperor Heliorus IV. But I guess we should do something about that first. Yeah. was easy. I didn't have a chance to ask you this, but... You mean me? Why didn't you return to the capital when we were in Torum Harbor? Why? Oh yeah! Still wanted to tell Flynn that he's being hunted, right? Yeah, at that point your journey should have ended. Well, uh, you see... Hey, by the way, who was hunting Flynn down anyway? Uh, I'm not quite sure. Wasn't it Rego? Huh? That villain? Yoda was on Rego's ship, and Yoda's the Imperial Prince. Yeah, so. I'm saying that I think Flynn's true mission was to find Yoda. Though I don't know why things would end up that way between big shots from the same Empire. I'm sorry. I don't know either. Well, that's okay. But what about you? Are you sure you don't want to go back? Well, I kind of just went with the flow and came along from Torum Harbor. But I think maybe I wanted to keep traveling with everyone a bit longer. So, uh... Besides, we still haven't gotten the Blastia Core back yet. That's true. But isn't that my business? Can't I help out? Mm, yeah, sure. Feel free to come along. Thank you. Hmm, how interesting. Estelle looks as interested in cities as always. Estelle, come on, let's stick together. I'm fine. The buildings are run down, it's overgrown, and this place is seriously built like a maze. With all these obstacles in the way, it's pretty tough to go where you want to go. Huh? Snow! Sorry, I got sidetracked. I thought I just said to stick together. You all need to be more careful. I've never seen anyone get lost so easily. Thank you. 
boy. Crushing it. Yeah, I beat you into next week. Next week? But can you really? Never. We got a head start. All right, let's go. Crushing eagles. We finished them off. I finished them off. Huh? These are the threads that weave our future. Nothing personal. Man, I was just getting warmed up. Like an easy win. Let me at him! Destroy rock! Ding of this modest land! Oh, how did you try?
Man, I was just getting warmed up. Nothing personal. Ha, 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 take this! Yeah, I beat you into next week. Next week? But can you really? Never mind. Oh, I feel so powerful! We're done. Hmm. Okay, sure. all of a sudden even someone as dense as you can feel it who are you calling wait does that mean you can feel it too oh, what a feeling yuri estelle too i'm fine don't overexert yourself we can rest here and have a look around Seriously, what's going on? Ever since we got here... If a monster attacked us right now, I don't think I'd be up to it. Saying stuff like that is the best way to attract monsters, you know. <sighs> Yuri! If you're gonna keel over, couldn't you do it in the middle of a crowded city street? can't be expected to be there to catch you every time. Yes, thank you. I'm still doing okay. This is 
air. What? I thought air couldn't be seen with the naked eye. If it's dense enough, it can be. Estelle, weren't you saying something about that earlier? That dense air is bad for the body. Yes. High-density air can occasionally have very negative effects on the human body. It made you pass out in the Koi Woods, too. Really? Wow. Maybe we should get out of here. But we still haven't made sure if the mercenaries are here or not. I guess that's true, but... Let's keep moving. It looks like this Blastia is linked to the door. How do we open it? It seems that we have to carefully put together the symbols to form the right phrase. Wouldn't it be faster to break in? That's not a good idea. What if it makes the door stop working? Hey, something's coming out of it. So, should we just put some letters in here? Hey, didn't we pick up some odd pieces of paper? Actually, come to think of it, could this be a clue to the passcode? Seems we need to use our mind to get an answer. Let's look at the paper again. Blastia is causing it. And probably this strange feeling as well. Huh. He's similar to the ones at Emmied Hill in Capua Noor. Is it broken? When a Blastia breaks, it loses its ability to take in air. There's no way it would get like this. So, what's going on? I don't know. What could he be trying to do? Was that a monster? M monster Take it easy, you're not feeling well. And there aren't any doctors around here. Huh? But... but I... Ah! The barrier's gonna fail. Don't worry, that's a reverse barrier. Reverse barrier? It's a powerful barrier for holding monsters. He won't get out of there anytime soon. But the air here, this isn't normal. I got a bad feeling about this. It's starting to disappear! Rita! Calm down, I'll have it fixed in no time. Sorry, none of us here are nice enough to take your friendly warning seriously. Huh, <laughs> you don't say. Well now, if it isn't that runt Carol who got his sorry butt cut from the team. The air must be affecting him. It looks pretty thick over there. That's just what we want. You won't just sit tight and behave yourselves. We're only interested in taking out this big brute. You sure talk big. Taking care of a pet is a big responsibility, you know. Don't go abandoning him for someone else to take care of. <gasps> him again! Whew. Hey! 
feel better. The barrier's down! Of course! That dragon freak broke the Blastia! You're dead, freak! Dead! Yeah, that's it! Show me some anger! Show me what a monster's like! Now I'm gonna mop the floor with you! the first piece of action, Clint. Well, come and get some then! Monster was huge. Hey, what's with the kit? Oh. I feel power running all through my body. Carol! There ain't a monster alive that was- 
wasn't born to be my punching bag! Master, it's too dangerous! This monster's mine, even if it costs me my life! Something comes up, and it's just poof! You're gone! Always, always running away by yourself! It's not like that! Not like what? Like I said back in Halur! I'm not talking about Halur! If you're not ashamed of anything, then shouldn't you hurry back to your friends? It's just that... No need to explain to me! I think you've got other people who'll listen to you. Huh? Guys! Carol, I'm so glad you're safe. Where the hell did you go? We were really in a jam back there. I'm... I'm sorry. Hey, at least you made it out in one piece. I'm leaving. Wait! You think long and hard about what you've done. That's all I have to say to you. Hey, cut it out! Let's get going, Carol. We're all tired. Yuri... Man, we were way off. The Blood Alliance was nowhere to be seen. No kidding. We'll have to take any information that guy gives us with a grain of salt. Guy? You don't mean... Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna roast that deadbeat the moment I see him! Let's... let's take it easy on the way back. It's not like I... Hey, you're gonna get left behind! I'm coming! So air is more than just a handy substance for making Blastia work, huh? Oh, the questions amateurs ask, I swear. Air affects everything in the world. Our own bodies, the growth of living organisms, even the weather. So the Blastia in Rago's palace that controlled the weather was interfering with the air? Correct. So then, that means the air here is interfering with the processes in our bodies. I mean, I can handle it, but is it really a good idea for us to be in air this dense? We shouldn't stay here too long, especially runts like you who are still growing. The younger you are, the more of an effect the air will have. Huh, guess that makes sense.
Yeah, I beat you into next week. Next week? Hey, I learned something. So I've finally found you. That's far enough. You lackeys must have had a lot of time on your hands if you crossed the ocean just to see us. <laughs> You're in no position to talk down to the likes of me. Now, princess, right this way. Huh? What does he mean? Princess? The princess standing right here in front of us. Y Yuri, but how did you. What? Estelle's a princess? I suspected as much myself. Rita, you too? Wait, you've got to be kidding! And what will happen to my friends? Why, they'll be drawn and quartered for abducting a member of the royal family, of course. Please, wait! I wasn't abduct- Ah, oh, what a mouthy young lady you are. This way, please. Now die like the flies you are. Arrest the culprit Yuri Lowell and his accomplices! You! The Swan Brigade! Just a minute. This prize catches mine. I won't let you take him from me that easily. Catch? Our duties are not to be carried out in the fashion of a hunt. Did I not also hear someone mention dying earlier? You did. What is wrong with condemning criminals to their deaths? Should not criminals be captured and judged in accordance with the laws? <laughs> I suppose I can let you have these little worms. If it isn't Schwann, it's Flynn. These upstart commoners are so full of themselves. Even that commandant. This way, please, your highness. Do watch your step. Um, but I... Yes, right this way. Arrest them! In the name of Captain Schwan! Okay, Yuri Lowell gang, it's curtains for you, I say! What do you mean, gang? H hey! Get your hands off me! Do you know who I am? But I haven't done anything! Don't hurt them! I beg you! Estelle, don't worry. Yuri! Just start walking! Walk, I say! Ow! Hey, watch it with the pulling! Sir Schwan, we shall take these undesirables to Heliord. All members, fall out! Continuing on, we will review the particulars of your 18th crime. Please do. Is it true that you threw a knight sent to collect the taxes into the river? 
Oh, I'd forgotten about that. Was that you, Tweedledee? That's right! I was in bed with a cold for three whole days thanks to you! How many more of these are there? This is getting pretty boring. I wonder what'll happen to me. So I'll write you have no signs of remorse in the report then. Where's that do-nothing captain of yours anyway? What was his name? Schwan? Playing hooky because he's the big shot. You dare mock our captain. Sir Schwan is a legendary hero and a veteran of the Great War ten years ago. So basically, his eminence would never stoop so low as to deal with nobodies like us. Quiet, I say. Quiet! Getting on to your next offense. Your Excellency, Commandant Alexei, to what do we owe this pleasure? Alexei? What? All your crimes are hereby pardoned by the good graces of their highnesses Esteles and Yoder. What? But these foul criminals have disturbed the peace of the Empire! The Imperial Knights thank you for rescuing Prince Yoder and protecting Princess Esteles. Please, take this. We've got no need for this. It's not like we did those things for the sake of the Knights. I see. What about Estelle? She has just given her consent to be returned to the Imperial Capital. What? Well, I guess she is a princess after all. The princess is waiting at the inn. We would be pleased if you made an appearance. I was so surprised to find out that Estelle was a princess. I had a feeling. She knew Flynn, and she was obviously brought up as a noble. Shut up. You knew already. Maybe. Oh, man. I wonder if I was rude to her without realizing it. Your language has been unpardonable. Captain Carroll, the sentence for insulting royalty is... decapitation. Been nice knowing you. What about you? You're way more rude than I am. Guess it's off with both our heads, then. What? Th that's... Idiots. So Estelle's going back home, huh? You don't have a problem with this, Yuri? It's not my decision to make. Well, I guess that's true, but... More importantly, where are we? This is the city of Heliord. Geographically speaking, it's located between Torum Harbor and the city of Dondrest. It was only just recently built. It's still a very new town. If you follow this road to the east, you'll hit Ker Bakram, where we were earlier. Cut through the west, and go to the northwest to reach Dongrest. I see. Well, maybe I'll have a look around the town a bit. I've got my own business to attend to. Hmm, what to do?
Ah, so both of you were here the whole time. Yuri, watch your speech in front of His Royal Highness. You could at least show due courtesy to the gracious partner of your crimes. It's okay, Flynn. Miss Esteles and I acted of our own volition. You've already heard about Lady Esteles, then, I see. Yeah, I heard. Yuri, I thought that traveling with you would be to Her Highness's own benefit, but... The royal family can't be allowed to romp all over the countryside without restraint. That's not very convincing coming from you. <laughs> I apologize. But now especially, it's undesirable for the royal family's concerns to be brought into the public eye. Concerns? You mean whether you or the princess is next in line for the imperial throne? Correct. There are currently two opinions. That of the imperial knights, and that of the council. Your Highness! There's no use hiding any details from him when he already knows so much. The Imperial Knights are backing my own ascension to the throne. Meanwhile, Miss Estelis has the support of the Council. She's a princess after all. Yes. Her relation may be a distant one, but she's unmistakably of royal blood. That's gotta be tough for the Knights, too. Even if she's the rival of their candidate for the throne, it's not like they can just stop protecting the princess, is it? Yuri... This matter is... I don't know anyone odd enough to be interested in information like this. Well, I'm gonna go drop by Esteliz's place, and then I'm gonna take a load off at the inn. Thanks for the chat. It's Tweedle A and Tweedle B. Don't call us that! Something I can help you two with? Even if you have a direct pardon from His Highness Yoder, I say that does not change the fact that you committed crimes against the Empire! As members of the Imperial Knights, our honor will not allow us to simply let that slide! Yuri Lowell! You will battle with us here, I say, fair and square! If you beat us, we'll recognize you as innocent of your crimes. Don't make claims you can't back up. Since when did you two have the authority to forgive people their crimes? Regardless, we must battle. Battle! If that's what it takes to make you happy, I guess I can humor you. Excellent! Come with us! Knight's ultimate fighting technique, the burst art! Again, you're claiming regular techniques as your own. That doesn't belong to the Knights. I say be quiet! The burst art, huh? I've heard of it before, but... You don't know how it's done? You fool! I say we shall show you! But before that happens, you'll be reduced to no more than a worthless caterpillar crawling on the ground! I say, Aah! Maybe it has something to do with over-limit. Go! Show him how it's done, Atacor! I say, watch me now! The arcane art of the Imperial Knights! It didn't hit him! What are you doing? Huh. Burst arts can be linked from an arcane art. I wonder if I could imitate that. There's no way an amateur could do something like that, I say. And now, over limit. I'll blow you away! Ah, be careful! Yuri Lowell's going to attack! Arcane Art, take this! Ah. You're dead! Ah. Divine Wolf! Ah. Ah. That's enough for today. Ah. First art! I say what a 
terrible turn of events. I say... That was close. Man, nothing like some good exercise before turning in for the night. I guess I'll hurry back to the inn.
You went to see Esteles. She must have been exhausted today. I didn't want to wake her up. We could still talk tomorrow. Right. Why don't we all return to our rooms then? What's the matter, Repeat? Do you guys hear a strange sound? Now that you mention it, yeah. Oh, I've been hearing that the Barrier Blasty has been acting up lately. Hey, hold your horses. I can't! Commandant Alexei is there, isn't he? He should be able to take care of it. Rita, if we let you go out on your own, it'll be just another repeat of a Meat Hill. Well, if you want, we could at least let Flynn know about it. It's been a while since the Imperial Knights have interrogated me. I forgot how tiring it was. Even the Princess and His Highness Yoder got involved. <coughs> and two captains and the Commandant. And with Flynn here too, they're leaving the capital totally defenseless. Pretty sloppy work. 